Stoll said, there is nothing more dangerous or stupid than putting the decisions in the hands of those who pay no price for being wrong. The government and now people about the central plan are behind closed doors and making decisions on how to run our lives while they give themselves pay rises. They are destroying the, the private sector. They are destroying the livelihoods of those who work hard to support their families, to pay their mortgages. And they, they, keep, they keep expanding the size of the public sector, printing money at our expense. And we're not having this anymore. Yeah. We're not going to comply. Now to the Victoria Police, to the Victoria Police in attendance. This is also your city. This is also your home. Why are you enforcing nonsensical dictates from a corrupt government? You all are sure friends and family who have been severely impacted by these measures. Stop enforcing these tyrannical dictates from the corrupt government. Stand with the people. We pay your wages through our taxes. It is your role to stand up for our rights, not to enforce this, this absolute nonsense. It's, been, it's, it's an absolute shame that none of us can trust the police. We've been assaulted, we've had home visits in an attempt to intimidate, and it's not good enough. What has gone on in this country for the past 17 months has absolutely no place in a free society.
Sydney. One, two, three. Freedom! 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 This freedom movement continues to astound me in how fast we can mobilize every time we do these lockdown protests at 7 p.m. at Flinders Street Station. We know where we're all going to be when this happens. We know that when we build up patterns and consensus and established ways of selecting the location and time, that we can all mobilize on very short notice. So thank you everybody for turning up to this anti-lockdown protest. You braved through the cold weather, you braved through the short notice, and you stood up today for freedom. When this movement continues to grow,
a lot harder to get back than it was to give away. So it's about time that we start being a little bit more thrifty with the freedoms that we're giving up to gain a little semblance of security that isn't really security. It's enough. We've had enough. Victoria has had enough. It's time for these lockdowns to end, and it's time for us to start rolling back the freedoms that we've lost. It's time for us to take a stand for all of the freedoms that weren't so fashionable to protect before this lockdown happened. Before about 2016, not too many people were too concerned with freedom of speech. It's really easy to lose track of a freedom until it's gone. Once a freedom is gone, everyone wants it back because it's gone. So let's be happy for the freedoms that we have. Let's protect the freedoms that we were born with, that we have as our birthright as human beings. Yeah. Our freedoms are our birthright. They are not. They do not come from government. Rights do not come from government. Rights should be protected by government. And rights need to be protected by us right now, because right now, our government isn't protecting our rights anymore. We need to take a stand, and we need to start building new, freedom-preserving institutions. Institutions that can do the jobs that our old institutions used to do before they were captured by the international authoritarian medical complex. These things that have taken over our medical system, our scientific and intellectual communities are coordinated and insidious in the goals that they are trying to implement one at a time. They use an incrementalist tactic whereby they keep going with a little thing here and a little thing there and before you know it, all of your freedoms are gone and we've got to fight back for them. So thank you to everyone here who took a stand for the freedoms that we still have and to start getting our freedoms back. Yeah. And before we go, this is not the first time this has happened. This happened in the Soviet Union. This happened in communist China. This is currently happening in Cuba. If you want to know what communism looks like towards the end, take a good look at what's happening in Cuba right now. Take a good look at what is happening in Hong Kong right now. Take a good look at what's happening in South Africa right now. Australia is not going to let it get that bad because we're going to nip it in the bud now. Yeah. We're going to save our freedoms now with a peaceful, mobilized citizenry movement because if we have to protect them in more interesting ways down the line, it's not going to be pretty. Yeah. That's right. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. You can it. If you think that the police should stand with us, say freedom. 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 Thank everybody.